My name is Melvin and I'm an associate publisher and editorial assistant for the Hair Transplant Network. And in this video, I'm gonna be going over three easy tips to get over and overcome the ugly duckling face. But before we get started, if any of you guys are interested in having a hair transplant or you wanna research a surgeon, I'm going to link the Hair Restoration Network discussion forum in the description box. Guys, it's free to register and you can research any surgeon on our advanced search page going back to 1999. I like to think of our advanced search page as the hair transplant industry's Google, so take advantage of it, all right? Now let's get started. Okay, so tip number one is let your hair grow. So many times I see guys dealing with shock loss and the ugly duckling phase and they continue to cut their hair short because they believe the myth that cutting your hair shorter makes your hair look thicker. This is nonsense. This is not true. In fact, if you're losing your hair and you cut your hair shorter, the only thing you're gonna look is balder. Okay, so the first thing you gotta do is just let it grow. I know it's hard. I know, you know, you may wanna buzz everything to make everything look even. No, you just gotta let it grow. And I'm gonna get into the reason why. Okay, so the reason why you wanna let your hair grow segues perfectly into tip number two, which is you wanna use hair loss concealer. Guys, hair loss concealer is a godsend. When you're dealing with shock loss, when you're dealing with the ugly duckling phase, you want to use hair loss concealers because it camouflages the loss that you've acquired. So what shock loss and the ugly duckling phase actually is, is which I'm gonna get into, is when you have a hair transplant, you're transplanting thousands of follicular units in one area whether it's the hairline, the crown, the mid scalp, wherever you're getting work done. So as the surgeon is a, uh, implanting these grafts, he may cause trauma to the surrounding hair follicles, which will then shed. This is called shock loss or telogen effluvium. So with all of this hair shedding, you get an even balder looking head of hair. So in many cases, guys end up looking worse after surgery, a few months after surgery than they did prior to surgery. This is why we call this the ugly duckling phase. So, to mitigate this damage, what you should do is grow your hair out, that was tip number one, and then use hair loss concealer. Tip number three, let's get into that. So tip number three is you gotta have patience. I know a lot of you guys don't wanna hear that, but it's the truth. You just gotta trust in the process and have patience and trust that you chose the right surgeon and you did your due diligence, you researched the surgeon carefully, you were careful with the grafts after surgery, and now it's just the waiting game. The worst thing you wanna do is start looking at the mirror every day and being like, oh, why does this side look a little bit thinner? This looks a little bit like this, what's going on? That's what you don't wanna do because that's not a healthy way to think and it's just not good for your mental health. What I tell guys all the time when they're going through this issue, and I went through it, trust me, I've gone through it three times, so I know. Put a hat on, forget about it. Don't look in the mirror, just trust in the process. Within a few months, that will be a distant memory. And trust me when I say this, it will be a distant memory. I went through the same thing. The worst is when three months hits, and three months feels like you've had a hair transplant maybe like five years ago. And you're looking in the mirror and you're like, why the hell do I look balder than I did before surgery? It happens, shock loss happens. And another thing I wanna to touch on is the ugly duckling phase doesn't only apply to the top of your head, it also applies to the donor area. I know on the forum a couple of guys have messaged me back showing me pictures of the donor area they had a hair transplant maybe three weeks ago or maybe like a month ago and they're suffering from some shock loss. Guys, I suffered from shock loss. I'm gonna post a picture of what my top of my scalp looked like and the sides of my hair. So that picture right there on the top right there was probably two and a half months after surgery. I was looking completely horrible. Um, I looked balder than I did before surgery. And then this picture of my donor area was about a week and a half after surgery. You can see it looks pretty depleted. If, uh, if anybody was looking at that, they'd be like, what the heck is going on with the scalp? But as you can see, it's healed. 
you know? Now it looks good. This is even two surgery. This is another surgery after that. So I've had an additional 1300 grafts extracted from my donor. And as you can see, it looks fine now. So you just gotta trust in the process. Any shock loss that you're suffering in the donor area or the top will grow back. You can use Rogaine, you can take hair growth supplements like biotin and stuff like that, zinc and, and folic acid to try to boost the growth back. Um, not saying it will work, but hey, it doesn't, it doesn't hurt, right? Uh, lastly, if you guys enjoyed this video, if you found this video informative, I would really appreciate it if you guys give me a like. And if you think anybody would benefit from this video, go ahead and share it with them. And if you like the channel, go ahead and subscribe. All right, until next time.